Okay, let's have a look at a small database I've created. You can search on customers or any number of fields, categories, keywords. And I've just loaded some of those categories into the tree on the left hand side to de demonstrate. By simply clicking one click I can find every cat in the database. doesn't matter whether there's three in the database or 30,000 or even more. So it's very quick to categorize and find and search for design. So let's quickly add a few more designs to this, to this database. You simply select it from within your Embroidery Studio designing software and record the database. Now you can make any of these fields mandatory to, to fill in. That is a description, um, digitizer, a license, categories, keywords, type of work, all sorts of fields that you can add into your database that you can later search by. So we'll just do it fairly simple. I'm adding this design to a particular customer and I'm attaching it to category artistic, are we? The floral design. Okay, save it away. Now I'll quickly save a few more designs to the database. So again, we can search on customer. Or I can go into category and search for cat, etc. So I'll just clear those searches to add the designs back in. And you can see we've got five designs into the database at the moment. I've just added a couple more. Now this is the best part of it, particularly if you're preparing designs to load to the web. Remember the one click we did to record to database? I added these designs and it created an image and in the background it created machine files that you might like to sell. So let's go into our database files area on the computer, into the directory where the files are stored. And it's the test database we're looking at. I'll look at machine files. And you can see we've got DST, HUS, Jeff, and all these other file type directories that were created automatically when we did that one click to, to record the file to the database. So every design that we recorded has created a DST file, a HUS, a Jeff, a PEC, a PEZ. You'll notice this DGT file, which has also been created in the DST directory, is the image file that the Tajima machines display on their control panel. So one click of the mouse, you can create as many files, many machine files as you wish.